picked out the who, which which Indian no, sorry which Air Force is at number one, which is at number two, and which is at number three. Right? I can tell you uh, the three words: Israel, USA, and Russia. Right? So these are the three words, and the three uh, numbers are there. You have to just find out among these three which one is the one number, uh, number one, number two, and number three. Right. No doubt, uh, here three pay kids, they don't need number ahead. Right. Only your task is only to uh, know them. Yes, which are the Kaipras? What is your question? Yes, something. Sorry, someone wanted to ask something. Uh, will you please? Sir, I have a question. Yeah, go ahead. So, uh, for going into Air Force, which stream is required for grade 11 and 12? Stream? Yes. Uh, see, usually, uh, in my opinion, you should always uh, follow the science stream. Whether you wanted to go to Army, Air Force, or uh, Navy, uh, yeah. So you should always consider it. And as far as uh, our academy is concerned, uh, we do have only admissions at science. So you should not worry about it. Okay. No doubt, after getting into uh, NDA, you can opt for any kind of uh, bachelor degree. And that might be in the commerce, that might be in the science, that might be in the arts. But as, as far as 12 is concerned, uh, opt science. Again, I will tell you that uh, in detail, uh, what subjects you should have, how many marks you should have, what should be your age. All these things we are going to uh, consider in, in our session named as uh, training institutions, right? Entrance examinations and the training institutions. There you will come to know about what and different ways. So at this moment, you don't consider, uh, you should not consider that there is only one way to enter into the uh, arm forces and that is the end you know if you could anyhow miss this chance still you have uh, so many other uh, uh, chances there are some students uh, who are very uh, enthusiastic and uh, sincere so they have provided me the answer of uh, the homework in fact, which which I was expecting tomorrow. Anyway, that's that's quite appreciable. Right. So, Whatever the options you have written in a chat box are absolutely uh, correct. Fine. Yon Ajay has also written it. It's good. Okay, further you can find out uh, and you can consider it as yesterday's uh, homework. The same for Indian Army. Right. So at, at what point army stands in the world and uh, which are other uh, which are other countries uh, uh, who are standing number one, two, and whatever may be it. Right. Fine. So over the years, the Indian Air Force has grown one with a Transo scenic reach. Right. Tactical force means right. tactics. Right. 
प्रैक्टिस कैन नॉट बी फॉर लॉन्गर पीरियड ठीक है तो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द सिचुएशन सो सो दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंग यू कैन कंसीडर टैक्टिकल एज ए टैक्टिकल now what is mean by tactical to or tactical uh, to the transoceanic reach right transoceanic mahasagara palikarcha right maja now we do have aircrafts which we can send right they will get take off from any of the air base in india and they can reach to usa or they can reach to any part of uh, part in the world right that means what कि सतार समुद्रा पार जाने की क्षमता एयरक्राफ्ट राइट सो अर्लियर वी वेर हैविंग लैक ऑफ सच काइंड्स ऑफ एयरक्राफ्ट्स राइट एंड दैट इज व्हाट वी कैन कंसीडर ओनली टैक्टिकल फोर्स टू ऑब्वियसली दिस वाज़ द व्हेन इट वाज़ इन सेप्ट बट डे बाय डे वी हैव ग्रोन आर कैपेबिलिटी राइट वी हैव स्ट्रेंथ आर फोर्सेस एंड नाउ वी वी हैव बिकम ट्रांसजेनिक रीच म्हणजे महासागरा पलीकडे जाण्याची क्षमता असलेला ठीक आहे मग कुठलेही महासागर हिंद महासागर असेल अरबी महासागर असेल कुठल्याही कॉन्टिनेंट मध्ये जाण्याची क्षमता असलेला द स्ट्रॅटेजिक रीच फ्रॉम इंडक्शन ऑफ फोर्स मल्टिप्लायर्स मग हे असं कोणते मल्टिप्लायर्स आहेत की ज्याच्यामुळे आपली strategic reach uh, we have become reach in the strategy reach right. so that is uh, these these are the some of the emerging things the very first aerial vehicle and the predictable strategic lift capabilities so he teen te chale thalak point hai ki aplyala che kay mante hai ki महत्वाचे वाटतात आणि ज्याच्यामुळं वी हॅव बिकम वॉट वी कॅन कन्सिडर दी स्ट्रॅटेजिक स्ट्रॅटेजिकली रिच राईट सो दॅट इज वॉट यू कॅन कन्सिडर राईट ओके सो फ्लाईट रिफ्युअलिंग एअरक्राफ्ट so uh here yeah, what i can tell you that so aerial ref- refueling you can consider in this case right so we are to air refueling right or in flight refueling or in in air refueling right manje pahile kay hota ki refueling karaycha tar you have to get landed right and then you can uh, get refueling but nowadays uh, you can have the facilities तुम्ही आत म्हणजे विद इन इयरक्राफ्ट आतमध्ये एखादं बॅरल असेल किंवा यू विल बी हॅव्हिंग ए सोर्स ऑफ फ्युएल यू कॅन रिफ्युअल युअर सेल्फ राईट किंवा मग यू कॅन हॅव दर टू इयर रिफ्युअलिंग राईट कदाचित तुम्ही कुठल्या मुव्हीमध्ये बघितलं असेल की दुसरं विमान येतं Uh, it gets uh, coincide with that particular uh, aircraft right? a pipe comes in that is a connection comes in and then relay starts right? so such kind of facility always boost the uh, or enhances the hours of flight right so that is what you can consider so i think at the last moment the plus of these slides have been changed anyway the next point is okay kunnan thakre has i hope it is about indian uh, f indian f yeah i don't know why uh, today it is exiting many a times anyway i will reshare with it okay so the motto right as like uh motto of indian army right so there is again motto for indian air force and that is 
uh, glory that touches the uh, sky type nabhas prasham dittam always keep in mind these things right so the sign in ami madi apan ek moto bagitla tasas moto for air force that is glory that touches the sky nabhas prasham dittam likewise in indian army we have here uh, the march right so two coins of march quick march right which is called as desh pukare jab sabko it when the nation calls and you can see a, a picture of the quick march right so this could be uh, the picture of the quick march you can consider it's it's a part of drill right and another is a slow march called vayu sena nishan right that is what formation of the air force emblem right so okay what is this one anybody as like we have consider something for indian army like right so here you can consider nabhas prasham dittam right so motto point what is this one logo of air force logo of air yeah. force it is a good it's it's a logo of air force as like we have consider logo of indian army what is this one flag of, flag of air force exactly flag of air force flag of air force want... good i just wanted to uh, suggest you that don't get confused with the flags right and then again see the same flag having been here a uh, five different kinds of sorry uh, four uh, stars right as like we have considered uh, generally mm M. narwani is uh, one of the photos right where at his right side on table he is having a flag on which there were four different uh, say stars right that means what it is a representation for his designation for his rank right that doesn't mean that it was the official uh, flag of army no official flag was not having that particular stars right so anything anything else apart from uh, this flag and this uh, particular symbol right uh, maybe belonging to air force but that would not be the uh, flag of indian air force right so that will be uh, uh, there will be some such kind of change that you can have fine okay now uh, there are different kinds of wars you can uh, consider which uh, in which our indian air force was involved but as we are passing the time and since i have another session of 12 so i would prefer to stop here okay anything which you would like to convey or ask if you can then quickly i can uh will you please come again because your your voice is breaking what is difference between army battalion and military no 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 see uh, in general the armed forces are called as military forces right but to be precise depending on their uh, existence whether it is for year right whether it is for land or whether it is for coastal or say uh, the um, waterways right so they, they are actually uh, dividing these three forces as uh, army air force and navy right overall military forces fine that rap sir uh that could be uh, you can consider as the defense uh, forces for uh, let's say india right and mang तिथ जेव तुम्हें तटरक्षक दल कोस्टल गार्ड्स बगता यू हैव टू ऑल्सो कन्सिडर बी एस एफ यू हैव टू ऑल्सो कन्सिडर आई टी बी पी यू हैव टू दैट इज वॉट इंडो टिबेटियन बॉर्डर पोलिस फोर्स यू हैव टू कन्सिडर पोलिस फोर्सेस सो दीज आर द सम ऑफ द अदर पॉइंट्स यू नीड टू ऑलवेज कन्सिडर फाइन ओके समथिंग एल्स don't worry again we are going to uh, consider uh, all these fine okay
Okay, if nothing else, then I will stop here. Please share the PDF, sir. Yeah, definitely. So tomorrow I will go with the uh, yes. next part. Yes. So what is homework? Yes. Homework is uh, to find out uh, what is the position of Indian Army, right? And then if it is at some number, right? Then what are the uh, who are before us? Who is at number one, number two? If we are at number three, right? Or if we are at number five, then who is at number one, two, three, and four? Right? This is for Army, right? Okay, I will stop here. Thank you, everyone. Okay, thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye.